everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is a decorative vase project. Steve recently uploaded this on his pattern catalog a couple weeks ago, and I was eager to try it out, so I printed the pattern out to full size and got it attached to our material. Here is the design, and the design comes in two sizes. There is a smaller one, and then there is a larger one. I opted for the larger one, so hopefully it'll show up better on camera for you guys. The front and the back of the vase will be one quarter inch cedar. You see I have everything attached with clear packing tape. It has a nice decorative vine there on the front. I think the cedar will really, really pop with what's going to be the center of the vase, and the center of the vase is going to be three quarter inch dark walnut, and the thickness of this piece is what's going to allow you to be able to put things into the vase and add thickness to it. It. and what we'll do is just scoop this out over on the scroll saw since everything is prepared and ready to go let's head over to the drill press drill all of our pilot holes so we can head back to the scroll saw and begin scrolling and over here on the drill press we're going to begin by drilling all of the pilot holes for internal cutting then we will head over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling I am using a number five reverse tooth scroll saw blade and it will cut through all the material we are using here exceptionally well with minimal chip out. Beginning here with the floral design in the front and back of the vase. Steve did upload a blank part to this vase in case you want to make the back of the vase blank. But I decided to have the floral pattern on both the front and the back. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in the free pattern catalog. Taking my time and letting the blade do the work. Staying as loyal as I can to the cut line. I know my grandmother had a lot of vases with flowers in them around the house when I was growing up. So this is kind of a call back to her old style of decor. But going through here and now we will release the two pieces from the wood. And it's essential that you stay as loyal as you can to the cut line. So everything will line up during the glue up. Again taking my time and letting the blade do the work. And this is two quarter inch pieces of cedar. And this piece here is around a three quarter inch piece of walnut. And I'm still using that same blade. And following the cut line and letting the blade do the work. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. All of the scroll work is about done now. Once we come down the other side, once again staying as loyal as I can to the cut line. But now we will head over to the workbench and remove all the pieces from the waste wood. And you can kind of see now what the vase will look like. But now we will head to sanding with 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander. Sanding the front and back of everything. And then we will proceed to the glue up back over on the workbench and I am using CA glue and the activator for the assembly process. Just doing my best to line everything up and I'll use some spring clamps to hold everything while I use the activator to lock everything in place and then I'll attach the other side and leave the spring clamps on it four or five minutes after spraying it with activator to make sure everything is dry and secure and then I'll come back and remove the clamps and we will go over to the sander and use the spindle attachment to smooth out any imperfections I did make on the outside cuts and giving everything a nice uniform look and now I'm just 
giving it a slight round over with my Dremel tool here with a mini drum sander attachment. But after I'm satisfied with it, I will put a dowel rod down in the vase to hold it and give it several coats of clear gloss clear coat and let that dry and the project is complete. And here we have the completed vase made completely on the scroll saw and it came out amazing. Thank you Steve Good for another amazing pattern from your catalog. It took me around 20 minutes to do all the scrolling on this. Not a very complicated pattern, but really, really cool. And as you see, as I stayed as loyal as I could to the cut line on this here to make sure everything lined up, we did do some sanding over on the belt and spindle sander to clean everything up and make it nice and smooth and uniform. And the clear cut we added at the end really made everything pop. It did come out a little bit darker than I originally wanted it to. If I could go back in time, I would change the middle layer from walnut to maybe a maple or pine to make the middle layer really light to make the cedar pieces on the front and back really really pop but all in all it did come out great and I'm very happy with it it's got a nice smooth finish to it and this would make a great gift to anyone who cannot have live plants in their household I know unfortunately some places are like that I know in my household we have a ton of live plants in it and they smell good they look good they give off oxygen and they are great decor pieces. So what you could do if you know someone that cannot have live plants is maybe make this and put a few artificial flowers down in it and present it to them. There's also the option of making these smaller vases in the pattern pack. It's the same pattern, just a smaller scale. I did the larger one in this video as I said at the beginning, but you could cut out a couple of the small ones and put it on either side and put it on a shelf for decor. But really, really cool and lots of options with this vase. You can make it out of different pieces and different species of woods to really make different color combinations and then you always have the option of painting it. I really like how the natural colors shine through, but really, really cool. I had fun making this and I hope you guys like watching me make it. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. All my social media links will always be linked down in the description box below. That's about all for this one. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.